Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome. Uh, today I wanted to do a different type of video. I have never really shared um, any budgeting and I don't do budgeting in per se um, but I did want to share my 52 week savings plan. I mentioned in one of my planner videos that that was a uh, goal of mine and so I just thought I'd show you a quick this is nothing elaborate um, but what I do this is an old plan ahead binder that like a personal size that used to be my stepson's i've been married to my husband for uh 19 years and this is older than that <laughs> i think he used to use it in junior high and he's in his 30s um but it's in good you know great condition um this color is uh, i don't know khaki or not khaki but like a greenish i don't know it's hard to to really know what that color is but the reason I like it is because it has it's a zippered planner and when I saw it I kind of kept it for that now I did have it in this recollections get glare there uh, planner and it's pretty in gold because I thought gold you know is money <laughs> but I just like the zipper because it does have money and so I just wanted to get you know, I don't know, anything fall out of it. So to me, this is safer, even though it's not a pretty planner. It's when I see this, I know this is my savings. So for any money that I want to save, this is where I keep it. I generally don't like zippered planners at all. Um, and a Frank, I love Franklin Covey, but one of the uh, things that I don't like about Franklin Covey is a lot of the planners come with the zipper and um, I've even considered buying a Franklin Covey and cutting the zipper out <laughs> because if you see my video before on a Filofax zipper I cut it out because it was making indents on my um, notebook okay so I'm, I'm getting um, off my topic here so this is let me bring you down a little bit and again, this is nothing elaborate. This, this is just an old, it, it works for what I need. So this is a 52 week money savings challenge. So at the end of the year, um, I would have, hold on, let me bring you down just a little bit closer. There we go. $1,378. So each week, and if you have not, I, I, I got this from Pinterest. So if you don't know what this is, it's you save the number of week is the amount of money that you save. So for week one, you save a dollar. Let's go down here for week 26, you save $26 in on and on for 52. So, you know, week 52, you save $52. So at the end, you'll have 1,378 if I don't spend it. <laughs> so it has the week, the savings, and then the balance. And then you just check it off. Instead of checking it off, I like highlighting highlighting it in green because I'm a visual, you know, so I have to see color. So that's it. I just put in this little um, piece of paper. I just have simple envelopes. I got those from the Dollar Tree. Get a box, you know, that you mail um, just regular letters in. I just hole punch them because they fit perfectly. I have a little post-it on top that when I put money in, I like to, um, you know, write down the amount that I have or that I deposit and the date. Um, this one, I have not done that because this goes with this. So the 52 week money savings plan goes with this envelope. And I know that. So uh, I have a post-it on here that says spending. So if I wanted some extra money for, let's say, planner supplies, then I would put that in here. And then I would keep, you know, whatever I've deposited, kind of like a deposit slip. I use it I like that. And I have that. Um, actually, I have, I don't have it on this one. I think I took it off for some reason. But I need to put another one on. This is just for savings. I had these before I started uh, the 52 week savings plan. These envelopes I've had in here before. I don't budget. I'm not a strict budgeter. Let's just say that. <laughs> but, um, I had a separate, uh, part-time job that, um, aside from the part-time job that I have now, 
and that was kind of like my extra spending money and so i would divide it between spending savings uh let me see uh this was piano in case for my daughter's piano lessons for homeschool so at the end i have to pay a homeschool fee so at the end of the year we're not you know uh it's not much but it's we're not caught blind by having to pay that um Oh, these were birthdays. So sometimes, you know, when you have to buy a birthday card and you have to buy a gift, um, it, it just helps to have a little birthday fund. Uh, Christmas, um, I'm hoping that uh, this money here, the 52-week plan, can go towards Christmas uh, or this coming year anyway. But that will be like a Christmas fund. And then, you know, like anytime I get paid, I can put, you know, whatever I want to save. I don't save in every envelope. But if I wanted to save for a specific, um, let's say a planner that I've been wanting, then I can put that here. Um, and having this just really helps instead of taking the money out and counting every time. Um, and if I take any money out, then I do kind of like a check register, you know, subtract and then put the balance. Let me see what else. Um, this was for my Chicago trip. This is this was for gas. Um, since, you know, we're not traveling right now, I left that in there. Um, so if I have to, um, save money for that, then, oops, let me take it off the frame there. Then I have that. And that's just a blank envelope in case I needed it for something else. These are recollection, uh, sheets that I had in there. I don't use that. I just wanted it for the, <laughs> for the quote, save more, do more. Um, so here was savings and again i have that post-it um but i had this here in case i wanted to use that so it depends sometimes i do it so fast i just write it on the post-it and then i'll transfer to here what really helped me with this was when i did go to um chicago and then i uh kept track of my spending so, you know, when we went to restaurants, if we stopped somewhere and got gas, if we, um, if I went to the store and I bought some things, you know, whatever the cost, it went in here. So that really helped. And I just have one for birthday savings and on and on. So that is it. And I'm hoping so far I have, you know, just because it's $10 for the first month, I just put $10 in there. And I crossed off the first four weeks. Um, but that's all I have. And let me bring you back out. And again, I was considering moving into a prettier planner. But again, I like the zipper and this works for me. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, please like this video. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe so you can get notifications of all future videos. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time.